Before this video begins, I want to say that just like some of my other Redstone videos, this will work across all versions of Minecraft. So, Pocket Edition, PC, console, doesn't matter. If you follow this tutorial, I guarantee it'll work. What's up, Agent Zero here, and welcome back to yet another Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone video. Now, as if you guys have been following me for this past week, you probably know that one of the beta updates broke Minecraft to the point where it couldn't even be used, so I've been uploading random games this entire week. But as you can obviously tell, it's been fixed, and I hope it stays this way, because this is my main content. I figured, what better way to bring back Pocket Edition videos than with a Redstone tutorial? Now, I'm going to get a normal Redstone video out for you guys next week, an actual episode of Redstone 101. However, because Pocket Edition was out of commission, I wasn't actually able to prepare for Redstone 101. And I actually already had this prepared for a different video that was supposed to go on in earlier in my channel, but I never got around to it. So yeah, I decided I was going to go ahead and use this. Now, as you guys can tell, I've got myself a little house. As you can tell, I've got my... Uh, plank and log theme going and you guys can see the double iron door and what really annoys me about a number of people's builds is that when they build a double iron door when you step on a pressure plate and only one pressure plate it only opens one door however I decided to take it into my own hands and by the power of redstone open both doors by pressing just one pressure plate. As you can see, I'm not even touching this second pressure plate at all, and both doors are open. So inside, nothing too special, just a bed, a set of chests, and that's pretty much it. And as you can tell, I've got glass here, so you guys can take a look at how the redstone works. But I am going to be doing a tutorial in just a moment to show you guys what's going on. So yeah, this is... Basically what I'm going to be showing you guys today, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now in order to build this, you're actually going to start off by giving yourself a 3x6 area, and you're going to have to dig down 3 blocks. Now these 2 granite blocks in the center, this is where your door is going to end up going. So in this chest, I have all the resources we are going to need in order to put this together. We have ourselves... 12 building blocks now six of these building blocks you're not going to see the other six are your flooring blocks of choice i'm just going to be using these oak planks to make it easier you're also going to need two slabs 12 pieces of redstone dust four pressure plates and two iron doors so in order to get started what we're going to do is we're going to come into our hole and we're going to place a block two blocks above and below our granite blocks in the center so we're going to put two right here and then we're going to put two right here. And you're going to take out your redstone dust and you're going to place redstone dust on top of all four of those blocks. And you're also going to place redstone dust down in between. Now you're going to take your flooring blocks. Now again, you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to be using these blocks to make it easier. You're going to be placing six blocks down above this redstone. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to take out your pressure plates. You're going to place those down one, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and place down the iron doors like this. So the way this works is that when we step on this pressure plate, it only opens one door. And the same on this side, it only opens this door. However, what we want to do is make it so that the pressure plates open both doors at the same time, regardless of which pressure plate we're on. And actually... It's really simple to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a block right here. And we're going to place redstone dust one, two, just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our slab. We're going to place it upside down here. And this is only going to be temporary. We're going to go ahead and put a slab right there. We can get rid of this block. And we're going to go ahead and put redstone down right on top of that slab. And we're going to repeat the exact same process on the other side. So a block here. Two pieces of redstone dust, one, two. And then you're going to take out your slabs, place one here, here. Go ahead and break this one, and go ahead and place your redstone dust on top of it. And that is actually the entire thing done. It's actually not hard to put together. And so now I press one of the pressure plates, and they both open just like over there. 
Now there will be a world download in the description if you guys want to check this out for yourself but just be aware I am in the 0.17 beta so I cannot promise, oops, I can't promise that it will work on 0.16 so yeah that's going to have to do it for this video. If you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button. Want more than make sure to subscribe for future content. Also you can follow me on Twitter at AgentCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.